Hi, welcome back to Tanya's Tasting Table. If you like the videos that I make, subscribe, like, share, let your friends know because um, I want more people to join in the wine fun. It's fun and I always try something new and kind of off the wall. So today I'm gonna try something that definitely fits that. I'm trying Giant Steps Pinot Noir from Yarra Valley 2020 Vintage. Oh! but 2020 vintage is one of the best vintages around the globe. This is a new discovery for me. So this is a natural wine coming from the Yarra Valley in Victoria, Australia. So this is a region that is about an hour east of Melbourne and is a valley that's protected by a couple of mountain ranges. And so it has a really interesting set of like microclimates. But the reason why I'm doing this wine is because it's your natural wine. It means it's like non-interventionist, so they don't even use yeast that is found in the laboratory. It's all ambient. So it's yeast that you find from the grape skins, from the cellar itself, um, just from the air. Did you know that there are yeast floating around in the air? So, um, yeah, anyway, it's kind of cool. It's um, done, of course, organically. They don't use any pesticides, herbicides, anything like that. A lot of the work is done in the vineyard. Um, so that means that you often have like a cover crop that helps um, make the pests go onto the cover crop, like dandelions, rather than um, destroy the vines and the leaves and the grapes and things like that. So there's a lot of clever ways of how to make wine without using any chemicals at all. Um, another way to talk about it is that these wines are made as they were a thousand years ago. So before there was any refrigeration or anything like that. The only pushback I have to say is that wines that were made a thousand years ago were probably a lot sweeter and might have had the addition of different herbs and spices to make them delicious. So if you've ever had a quinotto, that is kind of a example of what I'm talking about, or even vermouth. Vermouth is a great example of how wine perhaps was made a thousand plus years ago. Anyway, let's stop talking. Let's start drinking this wine. So 100% Pinot Noir coming from giant steps in the Yarra Valley. Non-interventionist. Ah, it's a natural wine. It's a natural wine. What's a natural wine? I don't know. Actually, I do know, but it's really hard to describe because there's a lot of wines that people would call conventional, but they're made in a natural way. They just always usually filter out some of the sediment or some of the dead yeast. So this is um, the cloudiness is the dead yeast and some of the, um, the grape must particulate. Another way to look at them is that they're the freshest as fresh can be. They are basically picked, naturally fermented. Sometimes fermentation can take months. Sometimes it takes just weeks. But sometimes it can take months because, well, you know, nature has its own timetable and doesn't always abide what humans want to do. So, um, on the nose, oh my goodness, it has a combination of rose petals and cherry. It's just so fresh. It's just like leaps out of the glass. There's so many aromatics. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous glass of wine. Mm. That is so delicious. It is, it follows through with the flavor profile. It's nice and cherry and a little bit of rose. There's a, almost like a mushroom under quality to it. Not quite as what you would get from like an Oregon or a, a Burgundy, but it's got this nice underlying quality to it. I love this one. I think it's fantastic. So they also make a Chardonnay, which I have yet to review. Um, but if you are interested in something off the beaten path, check out Giant Steps. Take a giant step toward natural wine. Anyhow, <laughs> thank you for indulging me. Um, if you found this uh, video entertaining, helpful, educational, whatever, subscribe and put a comment down below. Tell your friends. Until next time, it's, life is too short to drink bad wine. See ya.